Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. First of all, this is not like my other videos. If you like books, if you like people talking about books, I review a lot of books on my channel. I review manga, I review comics, I review cozy mysteries, I review sci-fi, I review fantasy, I review nonfiction. Basically, if it's a book, I read it. So go check out my channel if you like books and want book recommendations or want to give me book recommendations. I've already read like 87 books this year, so plenty to pick from in the book department. Also, if you're looking for study motivation, I also do study motivation because I have a lot of personal goals that I want to reach, so I do a lot of study stuff on my channel. Today, however, I'm going to do a closet tour of a non-fashionable individual. So as you can tell, I'm not the most fashionable individual on the planet. I'm wearing this Hewell t-shirt, which is a meal replacement. Someone I know got this t-shirt for free, and I'm wearing men's sweatpants, a pair of Keds slippers, which I live in because I work from home, and slippers, or not slippers, socks I got from Aldi. So that's me. But I did want to talk about everything that I own just because I like watching other people's closet tours so I figured if I'm going to watch all the content I should probably also provide a little bit of my own content. So yes before we get started about me I am six foot one and about 145 pounds which in metric is 187 centimeters and 60 five kilograms I believe it is that's what my doctor record said at least so that's my measurements I've been the same weight and height since I was 16 so that's only relevant because a lot of the clothes I've owned I own I've owned for a long time and that is why because I've been the same weight and height so it kind of helps um but yeah about me too i get in like 99 percent of what i own secondhand i don't buy a lot of stuff new i am just a regular person living a regular life additionally i live in the northern half of the united states so it is cold for half the year so i kind of have to have two wardrobes my cold stuff and my warm stuff and that's just where we are so yeah let's just talk about what i have in my wonderful closet First of all, this is stuff I've worn but isn't dirty, and these are my socks, or my warm winter socks and my pajamas, but I'm basically wearing my pajamas, at least what I'm wearing for pajamas right now, so I will go over those later, but this is my closet, where I hang up 90% of my stuff. We'll start on this end. We have a Carhartt jacket. Now, this is not a fashion statement. Did Carhartt get big for a while? I'm not sure. Um, this is not a fashion statement. I keep this in my car, but I recently bought a new car, so I had to take everything out of my old car. I keep this in the trunk of my vehicle. Actually, I want to put this in my car, my new car, so I'm going to leave this out. Um, because if I go in the ditch in the winter, if I slide off the road, I want to make sure I always have an extra coat with me in case it's cold, and Carhartt, Carhartt does the job. I it keeps me warm it's not cute but it keeps me warm um the next two i'm gonna tell you brief description and then where i got it this was thrifted i have since broken the zipper on it but i'm going to get the zipper replaced this is just a thrifted black coat i wore this a ton this winter and it's kind of spring-ish so i can um oh the arms are long enough which is very rare for how tall i am arms are never long enough but yeah I can wear this because I don't need things zipped up right now but I am going to get the zipper fixed because I do like this and I thrifted it for like a couple bucks I do not feel bad about owning multiple coats um here's my other one this one does zip up but I was just lazy another one thrifted for a couple bucks this is my main one that I wear the big difference here this one is a little lighter so I usually wear a hoodie underneath it in the winter because it's not it is warm but again I live in the northern United States it is very cold this isn't just cold it is very cold throw back to February 2021 where we had one whole week where I do not believe I saw the temperature get above zero Fahrenheit so whatever that is Celsius I don't know black hoodie um this was a gift well okay gift so I do not personally shop on Amazon. I did in college to get my college textbooks. That's probably the last time I shopped on Amazon. But occasionally, um, like my last job would give me free gift cards to Amazon. So then I would just use them because the money was already spent. So might as well. 
So this is a gift. It was off a gift card, Amazon gift card. It's a black hoodie. I wear this almost every single day. I love it. This one I thrifted for $2 at the thrift store. I remember it was $2 because I remember how cheap it was. It just has Traverse City, Michigan, which is a city in the northern half of Michigan. Well, kind of the northern half of Michigan. Um, this is a little lighter, but I do like it. I wear it a lot. This is a gray hoodie. I don't know what the front's from. I actually got this for free. I had a job in college where I cleaned the dorms in the summer. I would clean all the dorms at my college in the summer between the spring uh, whatever and fall whatever semesters and anything that was left behind was considered abandoned so you would get like a ton of like laundry detergent cleaning supplies I didn't buy cleaning supplies for like four years after I left that job um, and in exchange for cleaning you also got to stay on the school's campus for free in the summer it was actually a super cool gig this was something that was left behind and abandoned I use this a lot for like if I'm like cleaning litter boxes or something and I want to just throw something on it's gross I'll beat it up but for whatever reason whenever I your mark an item of clothing is something I'm gonna wear when I'm cleaning gross stuff or doing gross jobs. It somehow lasts forever. So even though this has been like my bleaching the bathtub, deep cleaning the litter boxes, disgusting jobs, hoodie, I still have it. Don't know why. Here's another one I got for two dollars. This is just a zip up. Um, it says divided. I don't know what divided is. I use this one quite a bit. I like it. I can throw it over like if I have a cropped something. I'll throw it over it in the like fall, spring cow. My cat is jumping all around. Um, I like it. Two dollars thrifted. This was a Christmas gift this year. It's a Columbia rain jacket. I need to move cow. Cow says hello. She's being bad. This was a rain jacket. My parents actually bought the men's version, I believe, because um my dimensions i'm not a normal woman's size at least i don't feel like i am so usually if you buy men's stuff they fit a little better because they're just built for someone who has a little bit more height and even though i'm a woman i have a lot more height to me than a lot of other women this given to me by someone who didn't want it anymore so second hand this is just like a flannel i throw it over t-shirts in like the fall or when i'm hanging out indoors this my grandma got for me Shout out to my grandma. She probably will never watch this YouTube channel. I'm not sure she knows what YouTube is, but she got this cape thing for me because she thought it was cool. You can never have too many layers when you live in a cold location. So that's all of my winter coats, outerwear kind of. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of what I wear every day. This is just a cami. I got it for a quarter at a garage sale. Again, this is a great layering piece because you you need lots of layers in the winter. Like you have a base piece. I usually have like a light long sleeve. I have a regular sweater. I have a hoodie and then I have a, a jacket and then you don't get cold. That's the trick to cold weather. It's actually perfectly doable as long as you layer. Just throw a pair of leggings underneath your jeans and wear a couple tops. Make sure you have your head covered, a scarf, mittens, and then you can hike around in the woods and it feels perfectly fine. This is a tank top thrifted. I think it's originally from H&M. It doesn't, the material doesn't breathe very well, but I actually like it because it's, or I don't like it for a summer tank top because it doesn't breathe and I sweat really easily, but I love wearing this in the winter or in the spring or in the fall. So you can still have a tank top while staying warm. So I actually really like this. Thrifted probably cost me two bucks. This one I'm pretty sure I've had since like 10th grade. This is just a regular long sleeve. Good for layering. I like the color. Again, because I've been the same size since I was 16, I can have clothes for this long. This is at least a decade old. Um, I just, yeah, at least a decade old. This is what I wore to work today. This is a dress. I got it for a gift. I got like some free Stitch Fix box subscriptions for Christmas one year. So some stuff that were gifts came from that. So it was kind of already covered, but I did kind of get a picket. This is just a dress. I wore it with tights. It's perfect for being on camera when you work from home because then I look professional from the top up and I don't have to worry about picking a pair of pants. This I bought off a friend because she didn't wear it. I wore it for a night out with friends. This is the problem with being tall is nothing ever fits in my frame. This is 
a dress. I don't know where this is from because I bought it again secondhand. Lush. It's from Lush. But I bought it secondhand and the color looks really good on my skin tone. This was another gift from a Stitch Fix box. Um, this one I got when I was more, um, when I thought we were going back to the office a lot sooner. So ever since I went home for the pandemic in March of 2020, I have never gone back to an office full time. I occasionally have to go into an office with my jobs. Usually I have to go in one day a week or just when we have meetings, but I've never had to go back full time. So I got this. This unfortunately hasn't had a ton of wear, but I still have it because yeah, I got it. This one's another one that I've had probably since uh, sophomore year of high school, 10th grade, 16 years old. Just a plain long sleeve purple shirt. I use it as a base layer because this has been beat up and beat up and beat up and beat up. So it's a great base layer, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. I use it a lot in the winter. Another thing I'm pretty sure I've had since I was 16, this blue top. I don't really know if this color looks great on me, but it's super comfortable and I like it. So I'm gonna keep wearing it. That's basically that. Um, oh, everything that I said I wore in high school, um, so like this one and this one and this one, all thrifted. I did not buy new stuff in high school. Um, this is a thrifted tank top. This was originally from Aerie, perfect for working out or hanging out. It's just a blue tank top. $2, I think at Goodwill they're like $2.49. Um, this was a gift, well, it was a gift card. Um, this is from a pack of three from Amazon. They're just like cropped. I wear these all the time in the summer. I also sweat profusely in the summer. I enjoy the heat, but I'm just a sweater. Even when I run, like I'll run a mile, which isn't too difficult for me in my fitness level, and I'll still be sweating profusely. So I'm gonna move this cat again because she's being bad. Go. We don't need to chew on things. Or if we do, let's do it on the floor so we're quiet. Okay. All right. This is one I did purchase. It's just like a cropped blue top. I know something I actually purchased, I think, through everything. By purchased, I mean purchased new. I think that's the first thing I've run into that I have purchased new. Oh, I keep hitting this thing. Cropped tank top. Not cropped. This isn't cropped at all. Uh, thrifted. Thrifted tank top. Um, the tag was ripped out. Super comfortable. You can't go wrong. This is kind of a challenge. I have stuff for winter and stuff for summer and I need stuff for in between and I need lots of layers for winter. So I feel like I do own a lot of stuff, but 99% of this is thrifted or gifted. I don't spend a lot of money on my wardrobe. This I did buy new. Bought this at Macy's. I actually worked at Macy's for um, maybe a little over a year, maybe just a year when I was in college. I actually really liked it. It was because my manager was cool. With those retail and food service jobs, if the manager's cool, the job's cool. That's really what it comes down to. The manager was cool, so I liked it. I saw this dress and this is like, am I doing an event in the summer that I'm wearing this dress? Perfect. Weddings, baby showers, baptisms, you name it, I got it. I got a dress for it. As you can tell, I don't really have a super feminine style. I like the bigger cut t-shirts, like men's t-shirts, just because I have more range of motion. Um, and yeah, my style just doesn't veer very feminine. When I, in the summer, I like to be active and get out. So I like things that are a little more practical, um, but it is nice to sometimes have things like dresses and things that are a little more feminine because sometimes I am going to go to nicer events. But as you can tell, my style isn't super feminine. Um, my style, we're being really generous that, with that word there. Thrifted tank top, it has jellyfish on it, so I wanted it. $2 at Goodwill. Ha ha, so my friend, who was like the thrifting queen and garage sale queen, um, took me to this place where they sell clothing by the pound. It's one of those Goodwill outlets, so stuff that didn't sell in the regular store, I think is what it is. They put it out there and you can buy it by pound. And where I live, or the one I went to, it's not really close to where I live, it's like maybe 40 minutes away, is like $1.80, $1.79 a pound. So cheap. I got a huge bag of clothes there this fall for $5. So I love this place. I got this. It's actually a petite. It's just like a light undershirt. I sleep in it. It probably cost me, because it's by the pound, this thing weighs nothing. This probably cost me like 25 cents in comparison to everything else. I got that as part of a bundle. This was a gift, more of an office type 
but I do like it. Again, I got this when I thought we were going to be going back into the office pretty quickly, right when the pandemic started. Um, I never liked working in the office. The moment that I came home for the pandemic, I took all of my work pants and I dumped them in like the back drawers of my, of, where did I put it? I, I dumped them in like a closet that I wasn't using because I was like, I hate going into the office and I never want to go back. And I haven't, at least not full time. Here's another thing I got, but this thing I get a little bit more use out of. It's just a cardigan, um, a green cardigan. I like it. I like throwing this over a black shirt in the winter. Offices are always super cold and I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but offices are cold. So I like to wear this. Also, pro tip for us ladies, um, it has big pockets. So when you have to put stuff in it to go to the bathroom, you can just put them in the pockets, which I like. I have another cardigan that doesn't have pockets and I like it less for that reason. But this is nice. I get a lot of use out of that. Um, the next couple shirts are ones that I actually bought new. We have this one. It has a cat on it. This one with more cats on it. These are again larges. Um, I technically like fit a medium with t-shirts, but they're usually too tight underneath the armpit and they're usually like just um, not long enough just due to how big I am. Again, six foot one. So I usually size up some t-shirts and I think that's part of the reason why I like men's t-shirts. Another one, this is in a medium and you can tell it's a little smaller, it has a cat on it. And now it's the black shirts. Every couple years I decide I have too many black shirts and then I don't do anything about it because I just wear a lot of black. Um, this I got at Kohl's, I bought new. I get a ton of use out of it, it's just a black shirt. It always is good to have just a black shirt. This one, I, again, I bought new. It just has some planets on it. I get a lot of wear out of this one too. I get a lot of wear out of all this stuff. I don't really believe in keeping stuff that I'm not wearing. So if I haven't worn it in a couple seasons, then I'm going to donate it. But I really do get a lot of wear out of pretty much everything that I have. Oh, um, so this is a sentimental shirt I played basketball in. It has information about the high school I went to, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. Um, I play basketball. Can you tell? Six foot one. Love it. Loved every second of playing basketball. Well, no, I didn't really like it in fifth and sixth grade. I thought it was obnoxious, but my mom had the foresight of signing me up for it young and I did learn to enjoy it. This is another shirt. I go through phases with this one, whether I like it or hate it. I got it as a gift. Well, I got it in Stitch Fix, which was a gift and then I purchased it as part of the gift. This is the warmest sweater I own. One of the warmest sweaters I own. I got this for Christmas one year. It's black. It looks kind of thin, but it is so warm. So I use it in the super freezing office I currently work in, work in that I go into occasionally. It's my employer, but I don't have to go into the office a whole lot. When I do, I wear this and I sweat in this, which is good because the office is freezing. All right, this one I bought new. Surprise, surprise. It's just like a cropped top. Bought new on, at Kohl's. When I say bought new too, this can be bought over a, range, a large range of years. Again, I tend to keep my clothes when I get it and I wear it forever until they literally disintegrate. $0.25 cents at a garage sale. It's a black cami. Perfect for just about anything. I love, 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 love this. And again, 25 cents at a garage sale. Shout out to my friend who's the garage sale queen. All right. Can you tell I have a lot of black stuff? This is a top. Genius, if you can't tell. Um, yeah, it's just a tank top. I will say about it. I bought that new. This was part of a gift, part of that Amazon set. Um, just cropped tops. I, again, live in these in the summer. So even though I live in a place that gets cold in the winter, it still will get up to comfortably easily in the 80s Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is, Celsius, 30, 40, I don't know. Um, so it gets pretty warm in the summer and I sweat a lot. 
so I do wear a lot of the tank tops in the summer but it's kind of this problem I have not really a problem but there's gonna be half the wardrobe that at any point in the year I'm not going to use I'm probably gonna move all of this stuff to a closet at least the coats to another closet in the house just because I'm not gonna wear them for six months by the time we hit like May but the tank tops and stuff like I haven't touched these or I'll sometimes use them to go to the gym and work out but I'm not gonna use them to just hang out or live my life in because it's like winter right now even though we're comfortably into April who knows um, so there's stuff in the closet that I haven't worn in a while but it's because I know it's just the wrong season this is a black dress I thrifted again I'm too tall to like show it up right um, I get so many compliments on this dress everyone asks where I get it from thrifted it's originally from Old Navy it is just a plain black dress I feel like I'm not the kind of person who's like you have to have this thing in your closet because I just feel like most of the time that's just like marketing gimmicks and you don't actually need something in your closet if you're not going to wear it but I do find a black dress to be very 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 handy if I have any event that I need to go to and I'm not sure how to dress it's probably going to be fine in a black dress and you can wear it in the summer without tights or in the winter with black tights on to keep your legs warm or if you live in a place that's kind of warmish in the winter you probably don't need tights at all Here is a plain black top. I thrifted this. It actually recently got a little tiny hole in the corner, like the shoulder, which I'm annoyed about, but um, I still use it as a base layer in the winter. So this is the kind of thing that you will never see. I'm not gonna wear something as a hole in it just out for everyone to see, I guess, but I'll wear it to do home workouts in the winter when my house is still cold, or I'll use it as like a base layer in the winter. So I'll put this on, Put a hoodie on or a sweater on then put my winter jacket on so you won't see it but it's still a good base layer this is what i mean when i say i wear my clothes until they are actually worn out like i will wear this until i cannot wear it anymore and a little hole in the shoulder for me does not constitute not being able to wear it anymore plain black tank top from kohl's i bought that one new um, bought this one new. This is just a plain dress. This kind of goes with that blue dress I got from Macy's. Just like summer event. You can wear this. And I do wear it quite a bit. This is a black tank top. A little thicker so I'm able to um, wear it in like the spring before I'm able to wear my other tank tops. So that's nice. Thrifted this for two dollars. Bought new. It has mushrooms on it. This is again a large because I don't want it to cut into my um, underarms. This I thrifted. So, hmm. So this was a shirt that I saw when I was working at Macy's. One of my jobs was to unload the truck that came in once a week and we had to like pull the plastic wrapping off of it and get it ready because I was like the merchandising team so we had to put stuff on the floor before there were customers. I saw this shirt and I liked it. I thought it'd be good um, because at this point I was working in Macy's while I still had an office job. It was like right out of school so I wanted to yeah have a second job while I still got my office career off the ground I guess you could say and yeah I saw it and it was kind of too expensive so I didn't want to purchase it or I thought it was not worth the price so I didn't purchase it for like 40 or 50 bucks but then like a couple weeks later I saw one of them at Goodwill for like three dollars in the shirt section so I got it same brand and everything so it's originally from Macy's but I got it at Goodwill for a couple dollars this I got from Macy's it's just like a silky Calvin Klein top I wear this with shorts in the summer um, and what I like about this is that, hold on, the cat is being bad again. Down, come on, come on. You're gonna fall. Okay. Um, I got this while I worked at Macy's because we did have some sort of like discount when we worked there. This was a gift. It's technically a bodysuit. Again, I got more use out of this when I had to go into the office regularly. I wore it a ton back then. Now, of course, I wear it a little, little less, but I think I should try wearing it more this summer because I think it kind of looks nice. And yeah, Kyle is very interested in what I'm doing because I'm talking. She wants to know what's up. Can we not? Can we not? Okay, yeah. 
with glow brush. This was part of that set I got as a gift with the blue and the black one. I live in these. This is the other cardigan that I don't like as much because it doesn't have pockets. I also don't think the fit is as flattering because it's longer, but offices are cold. So I use this as a, um, how would I describe it? A blanket. That's the word I'm looking for. English is my first language. So I don't know why I blanked so long on that. Um, it's just kind of practical. It keeps you warm. Also, I like to wear it with like this because then I look really professional on calls and it just keeps me kind of warm. So this I got a lot more use out of when I was going into an office more regularly. I don't really go into an office regularly. This I got for free. My mom found it at the house, at my childhood house, her house. Um, and no one claimed it, so who knows who it belongs to, but it's mine now. She also didn't know if it was a man or a woman's, but who cares? It's mine now. And it fits nice, which makes me suspect that it's a man's, because it fits me comfortably. This, this is some Nike Pro undershirt. I got this from the Buy the Pound uh, thrift store. I wear this underneath one of my gray sweaters that's kind of itchy. I love it. This is a sweater. I should probably not have it on a hanger. Just a plain gray sweater. It's a three quarter length sleeve. So I usually try to wear it with a cardigan of some sort. Again, more use when I was going into an office regularly, but I should probably use this a lot this spring because it is kind of light. Just a tank top. I thrifted it. Thrifted from the At The Pound place. I don't actually know if this looks good or not, but it's very, very comfortable, so I'm going to wear it. This I got for free. My aunt was getting rid of a bunch of clothes she'd had in her closet for forever. I got this. I really like it. I use this as a base layer because it's basically see-through. I thrifted it. This is just another crop top, very light. This is for like the hottest summer days. I thrifted it. This I bought new and I like it. It just has mushrooms on the top. It's comfortable. I lived in it all last summer. Now this with the hood is my Star Wars hoodie. I got this off the clearance rack at JCPenney's, which was a department store. Um, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It's very fuzzy and I like it. I wear, I usually wear this underneath of it. So these two kind of go together a lot. That's what we have here. Let's um, move to my dresser. I feel like I have a lot more clothes than I do. Let's do this. Now, because I'm cheap, the dresser was acquired from the side of the road for free. I knocked, I saw it in the trash. It had like a trash tag on it. So I knocked on the door and I asked the lady who answered the door if that was hers. Yes, it was. If she was getting rid of it. Yes, I was. Could I take it for free? Yes. She helped me squeeze it in the back of my 2004 Toyota Camry, which I'm very impressed by. Um... The cat made the jump from the dresser to up there. So good on her. And this was now mine for free, which I was very, very pleased by because I'm cheap. It does need a good cleaning. There's a permanent marker mark here. Um, and some seven year old has a new dresser in his room that's nicer than mine because she got rid of it because she was redecorating her son's room. But let's go over stuff that's in my worn once but doesn't need to be washed yet. A lot of this stuff is stuff because when I work from home, I just sit in one place and I don't need to wash it if I just sit in one place. Washing I feel like is really hard on your clothes so I'm not going to wash something that I don't need to wash. That's just my theory. This thrifted, it's a gray white sweater, super comfortable. I wear it with leggings or jeans. Some of the stuff in here is like my bra so I'm not gonna show those. Okay, 
When it gets to my jean, my pants drawer, you're going to see, but I struggle to find pants that fit me. Again, six foot one. I have like a 30 something inch inseam. So even thrifting, I usually have to buy jeans new and I, I don't like buying stuff new because I'm just cheap like that. So um, I got a couple pairs of jeans for one year for Christmas. I just asked for pants that fit and people got me pants that fit, which was super nice. Um, and I just live out of those basically. This you can't even see, look how long these jeans are. And these go down to like my ankle. Um, these are Old Navy, Pop, Icon, Skinny, Low Rise. I'm not a high rise girl. This high rise trend has not really been my friend, but I don't follow trends. So, well, we all follow trends to a certain extent. I wouldn't be wearing jeans if I didn't follow any trends, but I don't know. I like the low rise. So here we are these old navy i got these uh for a christmas gift so i didn't buy these new but they're tall stuff actually fits so if you're tall and by tall i mean like actually tall i know some people out there are like yeah i'm taller for a woman i'm five foot nine no girl i'm six foot one that is crazy tall for a woman good luck finding anything that fits you in stores but old navy is the place to look apparently because they have jeans that fit but i got these for a gift and i should fold these correctly so, um, here's just another cami thrifted. This I got with some free cold cash someone gave me. They weren't going to use it. I've worn this a ton this winter. I wear this with that gray zip up. I really like it. It's really flattering. The color looks good on me. Again, my torso is just a little too long for it, so I kind of do have to wear high-waisted pants with it. That is one thing the high-waisted trend has done for me, because then I can kind of cheat how long the shirt is, because I have, like, jeans that go, or, like, shorts that go above where the end of the shirt is. So you can't really tell that I don't fit anything, because I'm so dang tall. This I got by the, I thrifted at the Buy the Pound place. It's a men's t-shirt. It's just this olive gray green. I love it. I live in this. This is in every wash cycle because I wear it so much. Mm, bless me. Mm. Okay. This you can't buy anywhere because my college gave it out to everyone who was in the math club. I graduated college with a degree in math, so yeah. Um, but it's cute as a cat saying mew. I like it. I'm also trying to be careful with this because I, it's kind of sentimental, so I don't want to wash the design off. This I got as a gift. It has a snail in it. I love snails. This I wear, this is like an office shirt. I got it off a clearance rack at Kohl's forever ago. Like actually like probably a decade ago. Shorts. Now with Having long legs, finding jeans or full length pants that fit is awful. It is a nightmare. I hate thinking about it. Shorts, on the other hand, I like to show off my legs, so I'm going to do it. If I have legs, I'm going to show it off. If it's going to cause me so much grief in finding pants that fit, I'm going to show them off in the summer. So here's one pair. I use these for doing like yoga. I, I wear these all the time. Who am I kidding? Um, bought these new. Here's a t-shirt. Bought it new. Well, I really need to go through this because clearly I've just been picking new outfits. Once I put something in this bin of stuff uh, that I have worn, but I haven't worn enough to be dirty to wash it, I try to like wear it again a couple days later so I can put it in the wash. But clearly I have not been keeping up on that. This I bought new. It's a cropped shirt. This I thrifted, just a tank top. This I thrifted, it's a workout tank top. Some of these are my bras. And this shorts, bought new. And a pair of pants to wear into the office that I spent a good chunk of money on and then the pandemic immediately hit. 
So one of my rules is with clothing, I have a dollar per wear rule. So I'm okay with spending $80 on a pair of jeans that I'm going to get at least 80 wears out of. So whatever I spend dollar amount is the number of wears that I want to get out of that item of clothing. So that kind of gives me a gauge. It also makes me feel okay with spending like $80 on a pair of running shoes that I'm going to wear a lot or spending $2 on a funny t-shirt from a thrift store that I'm going to wear at least two times. That's kind of my rule of thumb. I'm going to fold this stuff up nicer later. Now I have the hiccups. The dresser. We have socks and underwear. This is mostly like my bras and stuff. Um, this is a run top I got. It's from the brand Saucony. I really like it. I like the color. I'm pretty sure my dad called this color. Um, I forget what he called it. He's not a fan of the color. I like it. I'm not really a bright color person, but for whatever reason, I like this to be probably because I'm miserable when I'm several miles into my run. And that's that. So I'm also not the kind of girl who has multiple swimsuits. I feel like all you need is like one or two swimsuits. I don't really understand people who have a lot of swimsuits. I don't get it. Um, but unfortunately, I'm up to three, four. So I do have a black one piece swimsuit that I swim laps in at the gym. That's exclusively what I do. That doesn't feel like part of my wardrobe, but it's like workout gear. Um, but I do have three swimsuits that are like swimsuits, swimsuits. I have my regular swimsuit from Aerie that I got like a decade ago. Um, it's just a two piece. Here's the top. There's sand and stuff coming out. Here's the bottom. I really like this. Now I acquired two more and one of the ones I acquired was only because I had gone to a event and I had forgotten to bring a swimsuit and it was like a swimming sort of event. So I needed to buy a swimsuit fast. It was during the pandemic and they weren't letting you try swimsuits on in the store, but I had no other option. So the top is a little too big. The top looks really good on me, but I have to be very careful not to move. So this is more of a sitting on the beach and lounging, but not really swimming in the water, which I hate doing at the beach. If I'm going to the beach, I want to be swimming in the water the entire time. That's why I'm there. I don't really like laying around on the beach. Um, it's fine to like dry off before I get in, but here's this one. It is very cute. I just wish I had sized down the top. The top is too big. And they do have good black bottoms. So I do get use out of this, kind of. But I was forced to purchase that kind of during the pandemic. Because they wouldn't let me try stuff on in stores. Which, to be fair, to be fair, like, during the pandemic. But, like, things were kind of opening back up. So I wasn't going out when I wasn't supposed to be. I want to make that clear. This one is another one that I just got. This has dinosaurs on it. Um, The dinosaur one and this one I get the most wear out of. I wear these all the time. This is more like, I I feel guilty because I spent money on it because I needed it that one day. So I'm going to wear them a ton. Um, so I'm going to try to wear it a ton just because I did spend money on it and I do feel really guilty. Um, yeah, everything else in here is just kind of my bras and sports bras. Next up. We have t-shirts. Can I move to this side? Yes, I can. So some of these t-shirts are like high school, clearly show like the high school I went to, which I don't want to show off. Um, so I'm going to skip some of them. But we have this one. I don't really know because how to show these off because I fold them into these squares and then I color code them. This is just um, one that says support your local search and rescue get lost. I sleep in this one. This one says, go away, I'm in a bad mood. Thrifted this when I was like in seventh grade. Again, this is like crazy. Sentimental basketball t-shirt, I'm not gonna show you. This is a men's t-shirt that I got thrifted by the by the pound clothing place. Super comfortable. It's an XL. At least I think it's a men's t-shirt. Um, I love it. Um, my Montana t-shirt has a bison on it. A Star Wars t-shirt that has Darth Vader with a boombox and he's rollerblading, roller skating. I got this for free. Sentimental basketball, sentimental soccer, sentimental play that I was in. Um, sentimental event that I belong to. A YMCA basketball t-shirt. Um, a t-shirt that I thrifted. It has a Star Wars character on it. Um, a old... This was something that was abandoned when I was cleaning dorms just a t-shirt this one has fun facts about sweden on it i got it from a friend in college who lived in sweden um 
a t-shirt from my local zoo. Winnie the Pooh! I don't know where I got this from. I think I thrifted it. I like this one. I like Winnie the Pooh, like, unironically. So, um, sentimental high school t-shirt. This I got by the pound place, from the by the pound place. It says it's easy being green, and I was being green by thrifting it. So, I felt good. I'm gonna have to refold these. I'm frustrating myself. Old work shirts, old work uniforms that I use as workout stuff. Sentimental basketball t-shirts. Sentimental college t-shirt. Don't even know this band. I went to this outdoor concert in a park with some roommates and some dude sold me this t-shirt from like a pile of t-shirts he had just brought in. It says, the mostly dead. I just like the women screaming. So I bought it from him. I negotiated two for a lower price. I think it was just a guy who had a bunch of band t-shirts he had collected. Um, I don't know what the band stands for. Hopefully it's nothing bad. I just hang out in it. So then I have the stuff I sleep in. I sleep in just about anything, but we have a Chewbacca. It's Monday again. I got this off the discount rack, the like a uh, clearance rack. Um, a t-shirt that says snailed it. A friend gave this to me in college. Um, a Toronto Overwatch League t-shirt that I got for free. I don't even play Overwatch. Um, this I got for free. Someone was getting rid of it. It has the Death Star on it. There's also like a, a hole in the side, which is why they didn't want to wear it anymore, but I will sleep in it. Same for this one. It's just an old t-shirt. I think it has some promotional, um, like some ugh, vacation destination on it. Again, another Star Wars t-shirt that someone was getting rid of. I'll sleep in it. Can you tell the trend? People get rid of stuff for free and then I take it so I can sleep in it. These two are just light, simple tank tops um, from Forever 21. These are ancient. They were ancient when I bought it off a woman at a garage sale for a quarter each. And I um, sleep in these in the summer. I have it in gray and blue. This is a grand total of 50 cents and I've worn these for like... That was the cat. She just jumps from the top to the bottom. It, I worry she's gonna hurt herself. I don't know why she doesn't use the dresser to get back down. This I got from a garage sale for like a quarter. It has little foxes on it. It's kind of cute. I sleep in it. Pink tank top that I've had since like I was in seventh grade. And this, which I thrifted by the pound place, this is the warmest item I own. It has this mouse on it. It's super cute and comfortable. I sleep in it. I don't know what else to say. I wear this one a lot. I wear this one all winter. Okay. As you can tell, it's just like thrifted, thrifted, got it for free, thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. Oh, I actually spent my own money on it. Big surprise. Now let's move on to the more complicated section. I say more complicated because as we've already been over, well, we have my sweaters too. Um, Sweater that I thrifted. Sweater that I got for free from my aunt. This is the warm, another one of the warmest sweaters I own. I wear the gray Nike Pro under this. This I also use in the office because it's freezing. Um, this was a gift. It's just a pink. It's an open back sweater. So it's more like a spring sweater. This is a oversized sweater that I got from the Buy the Pound place. I'll put this back later. Had this one for like since I was 16. Sentimental basketball one. And this brown huge one that I got as a gift. I use this when I go camping. And this is another thing that I sleep in. There's a matching bottom, but I don't wear them together. This is super warm. Now the difficult stuff. So again, six foot one. Finding pants that fit is awful. Can I open this? So we're just gonna do our best. I have a lot of shorts because I actually do really, ah, move over, oh, we're done. Um, I actually do really enjoy shorts, but pants are a different story. So I guess we'll do pajama pants first. We got the matching Chewbacca pants, clearance rack. 
kitty pajamas. This was a gift. Um, penguin pajamas, thrift store. Penguin pajamas, the warmest pajama pants. Second warmest, well, tied for warmest pajama pants I own. This goes with the matching top, but I don't wear them together because it's a little much, but I do love these pair. And this one's long enough. Pajama pants are never long enough on me, so I always just deal with the fact they always go down to my shins and stop. They literally will stop, like, at my shins, and you just have to deal with it. But these go down all the way. Maybe they're made for men. Probably not, but... And my Stormtrooper pajama pants off a of clearance rack. All right. These my mom got for me at a thrift store because she said they looked horrible and hideous. And so, of course, I took them. Um, she got them for me as a joke, I think. But I actually really like them and they're super warm. I wear these while camping, too, because when I go camping and if it gets really cold at night, like 30-something degrees Fahrenheit, obviously, um... I want something warm. This is a pair of boxers someone gave me. Um, someone gave me or did they thrift these? Um, no, I didn't thrift them because I don't really thrift underwear. So these, someone must have given them to me. I sleep in them like shorts because they are literally like shorts. I should add that they were like in the package when someone gave them to me. I do remember it now. Um, I'll thrift just about anything, but underwear is not one of them. Um, I will thrift bras because I don't think it's weird. I just wash them. They're like, it's just skin. Underwear is where I draw the line. I do not thrift underwear. Um, these are actually kids pajama pants, but they have this princess on them and I think they're really cool. I've had these since I was probably like sixth grade. Um, and I think they're so funny. So I keep them and they kind of fit. The waist fits because they've kind of blown out the elastic on them. <laughs> this is bad. Um, I have three of these, so I'm only going to show them once. I got this um, as a gift. They're just like stretchy pants. I use them for biking, running, um, playing tennis. These I got by the buy, from the Buy the Pound place. The Buy the Pound place, you can't try stuff on. Well, you can if you just want to stand in the aisle, but they don't have changing rooms, so I don't really trust l like long pants there because I can't try to see if they're actually long enough. It's never the waist that gets me, it's the length. But shorts, I do trust. So I got these there. I sleep in these. Um, I just took a vacation to Tennessee, um, which is another state in the United States, and it was kind of warm down there. So I slept in these. Um, again, this probably cost me like 25 cents because it was $1.79 a pound. Um, these I got by the by the pound place, thrift store. So they're just black shorts to sleep in. Again, probably cost me like a couple cents. Um, leggings. Two pairs uh, I got as gifts. Then we have shorts. Let me put these back. This is the last drawer, I promise. Um, this is what normal people wear. Maybe not. Maybe I'm super weird. You can tell me if you think I'm super weird. Um, shorts. So, I'm going to skip like all these because I have two more of these. This came in a three pack. Um, but honestly, again, shorts aren't that bad to shop for if you're tall because I have a, like a more or less normal size waist. These are just, I thrifted these, I mean, way back. Like, I think like I was in high school maybe. I don't know. Um, I've had these for forever. These are just stretchy pants. I hang out in these. That's about it. I actually was feeling sad earlier today because I was thinking of these pants and I thought I had thrifted them. So I was surprised when I dug back in the back of this drawer and I found them. So I own these. So I'm going to leave them out because I want to wear them. Um, yeah, we have all these. This I thrifted like probably when I was in middle school. I like these just stretchy pants. Um, not to be like TMI, but I do like to wear these in the summer when I'm on my period and I'm sleeping because normally I'll just sleep like in underwear or a little pair of shorts, but these I feel like provide a little bit more protection. Um, and yeah, I mean thrifted. Uh, by thrifted in middle school, I mean like my mom paid for them in middle school. We only like basically exclusively besides like underwear shopped at thrift stores as a kid. Um, I thought we were poor growing up. Turns out my mom's just really cheap and now I'm cheap, so... Um, exercise shorts. So I do go to the gym regularly. I love playing sports. I love being active. It's just who I am, especially in the summer. 
I don't know who, okay, this isn't, this is going to sound judgmental. If, I don't care if you do, but I don't see the point in going to the store and buying workout shorts brand new when you go to any thrift store and there's a massive rack where they're just selling them for $2 each and you can probably find some that fit. I decided I needed more shorts. I went to the thrift store. I just grabbed like two off the shelf, off the rack. They fit. Done. So here they are, thrifted, like $2. Um, Ta-da. Ta-da. And these are workhorses. I mean, I'm going to wear and wash them at least like once a week because if I go to the gym and run, I'm going to go through these. I really can't wear these more than once because I'm going to sweat through them completely. I'm a sweater <laughs> majorly. So these have to be washed every time. <clears throat> these I got for free from a friend um, in college. They're high-waisted. I use these to cheat the length of the shirt I'm wearing. These I've had since I was probably again 16, 10th grade. These probably aren't the length that's in trend. I don't know. Again, I don't really keep up with that stuff, but I love these. They fit, so I wear them. That's the extent of my thought process. And here's high waisted black. I got these as a gift. And the infamous, infamous jeans. These I probably need to get rid of. Well, no. These are missing a button in the back. Maybe I don't need to get rid of these, though. So this is why I'm being cheap. Um, these are just black. I can probably replace the button. Black work pants. Once I knew for sure I was not going back to the office post-pandemic or, like, partway through the pandemic when I was like, mm, if I can get away with never going back to the office, we're doing that. Um, I got rid of basically all of my work pants that I hated. I had a bunch of work pants that I just needed because you needed to wear something like that in the office. And it was so hard to find ones that fit me correctly that if I found them, even if I hated them, I kept them. Um, but once I knew that was not going to be a thing anymore, I immediately donated all the ones I didn't like. These are super comfortable, which is why I kept them. I then have some leggings that are kind of... So the leggings I showed over here are ones that I wear by themselves. These have kind of holes or runs in them. These are older ones that I've had for longer. This was a gift and these I got for free when I was cleaning dorms. Um, so these I don't wear by themselves, but again, I live in a cold part of the United States. So if you wear jeans, you have to wear leggings underneath them. Like you just, it's, we well, don't have to, but you stay a lot warmer if you wear leggings underneath your jeans all winter. So I wear these a lot. Also, if I'm just at home doing yoga, I'll throw these on because who cares? I'm at home doing yoga. This one I got for free. Someone gave it to me as like a gift. Um, well, not a gift. They just had it and they're like, it's yours now. And I don't think this pattern looks good on me. They are very comfortable, but I don't think the pattern looks good on me. I don't think I look good in this pattern. I actually gave it to a friend. Mm, not really a friend. So one of my roommate had a, one of my roommates had a friend over and uh, she was staying for a couple days and didn't like intend to stay for a couple days so she needed some clothing so I let her borrow some stuff because she was closer to my size and um she wore these and she looked really good in them so I should have just told her that she could have kept these if she really liked them because she looked good in this pattern and I didn't so I don't know why I did that um she just like washed them and gave them back to me I remember thinking when I saw her like oh she looks good in that pattern and I don't I just I don't wear these outside the house these are again with these over here just like underneath the jeans in winter or doing uh yoga at home but I got them for free so I keep them and I actually do wear them for not liking them this was a gift this is a priceless treasure these are a pair of uh pants that fit I use these in the office as you can tell I have such long legs they don't even fit on the phone screen yeah there we go these I'm pretty sure I got as a gift black jeans these just go down to my ankles but I use these these are like office jeans because they're black so I can get away with wearing them in the office um yeah. I do like them. They just go down to my ankles. These again, I thrifted these forever ago. So these were ancient when I got them. And as you can see, they used to be black, but now they're like gray. Cause, and I don't think they're like intentionally gray. I think they were just washed so many times that they turned gray and then someone donated them. And then I purchased them like a decade ago and I've been wearing them and washing them. Some of the seams are starting to come apart. Like, this is just a really old pair of jeans, but I refuse to give up a pair of jeans that even nominally fit me because they are so hard to find. 
I wear these at home all the time. Basically, well, I wear all my clothes all the time, but like jeans especially, like I have to wear all these because I don't have any options. Um, these, uh, these are like stretchy jeans. Um, I wear these at home. These are very nice, but I, they are the kind that once you wear them once, they get kind of stretched out. So you have to like wash them again. And these I got off a thrift rack, or not thrift rack, clearance rack at Kohl's forever ago. And the very first thing I did was drop a permanent marker on them. So there's a little tiny splotch of permanent marker that I can't get out. But I wear these a ton. However, I noticed the other day that the pocket is kind of like coming undone here, which I'm very sad about. Um, these only go down to my ankles. They don't really go down all the way. I don't, I don't like it when they don't go down like all the way to my shoes. The only pair I have that does go all, the only pair of jeans I have that goes all the way down to my shoes is the one that's in my warm but not yet dirty rack. Um, these jeans are all in the wash every week. So the, that's the problem is like, if they even nominally fit, I'm going to keep them because I have so few options. Now I could actually spend money, but jokes on you. Cause I don't spend money. <laughs> I don't even like make bad money. I just am cheap. Um, I could spend money, but even then it is very difficult to find jeans that appropriately fit me because they're just hard to find. And I don't really blame the industry. I'm a very rare combination of sizing. So it makes sense. Like why would they make jeans for someone who, um, such a small percentage of people fit. I like to cl try clothes on in person before I buy them too, particularly pants. Almost everything else I'm comfortable buying online, but 90% of stuff, 90% of stuff I'm comfortable buying online, but like jeans and stuff I want to try and try on in person, which is why I refuse to buy them at the, by the pound thrift store, which doesn't let you try stuff on or doesn't like have rooms for it. Um, and of course I always try jeans on when I'm at the thrift store, but I almost never find anything that fits. But I don't, again, don't really blame places. Why stock a size that isn't common? It's not going to be at thrift stores because not a lot of women are my size. I think I looked it up once and I'm like 99th percentile of height for women. So like I am an outlier. I understand that. So jeans are just my struggle. I find some that I like and I live in them, but these are in my wash every single week because I don't really have any other options. So yes, this is a closet tour of a normal person. Well, normal lifestyle person. I'm not a fashion influencer. I'm not a fashion blogger, but I um, am just a normal person living a normal life. I have a professional job that I go to that I do mostly remote work for, but I do have to go into the office and I'm just living my life. Um, so yeah, that was my closet. Thank you so much for staying this long. I have talked a lot, but this was kind of fun. Plus I got to look at everything I owned and I found a pair of pants that I forgot that I owned that I'm excited to wear. So I'm really glad that I did this. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like books or study motivation, then subscribe to my channel because that's what I do normally when I'm not talking about all the clothes that I own. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.